Last week, the list of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus finalists was completed. We presented fresh talents who proved that they may be small, but they can make great music. You are our future. The judges were in a difficult situation, and not only because they had to decide. Serbian violinist Nemanja Radulovic had to leave the show with a suspected coronavirus infection. You feel good? Yes. However, the show must go on. Tonight, the 10 most virtuosic young musicians will show us that classical music can help defeat any obstacle. have a Batman scene. <laughs> the talents will explore the boundaries of classical music. That's Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Here, not only world-class performances are born, but also lifelong friendships. Tonight, the two hosts will be great at speaking the language of children as usual. <laughs> we will work on this. The king of German television shows, Thomas Gottschalk. You look like you work in a boys group. <laughs> and Ida Novakowska, the favorite host of Polish viewers. <laughs> Tonight, they will both be in the mood for a party. Let the master class begin. You see, she's a real good dancer. My piano playing, I need some help. It's really um, good, Thomas. It's great. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> it's really, really great that you're watching us because you, otherwise you would miss an important part of this thing. We did the semifinals. We have 10 contestants are waiting for the grand finale. And today we're gonna have fun. Today there won't be any winners, there won't be any losers. Today we're gonna show how beautiful music is. And that great jury will not be here to judge, but to help and to have fun with us and to enjoy the music. And I enjoy my partner, Ina. Welcome. I very and much I'm enjoy so you and here. all of you and all the kids. Uh, as Thomas said, it is going to be a wonderful evening. It is only about fun and our fun uh, judges are here. And let's greet our new Serbian jury member who agreed to fill in for Nemanja Radulovic who unfortunately had a fever in the previous show, uh, so he could not come back to join us uh, in this round, as it was required by the strict health regulations due to COVID. So welcome on board, Silvana. Silvana, she is the head of the music department of television of Serbia. She's a pianist and a musicologist. You, you took part in the Serbian casting, so you know the Serbian competitors already. What are you waiting for? Uh, to hear and to see young talents from those five countries. I'm sure the, that all are brilliant and I will enjoy with all my heart. So, thank you. And we can already tell her that she will be happy tonight. So let's greet the conductor, Peter Valentovic from Slovakia. Gabriela Bohatova from the Czech Republic. Opera singer, Miklosa. Erika from Hungary, of course, and uh, our opera singer Alicia Bengozewska from Poland, who is also the director of the Warsaw Chamber Opera House. 
just like in the two semifinals, a super judge joins the jury to help with the work for the others tonight as well. Our today's super judge is a young, talented actress who joined us from England, who played at the famous Paris Odeon Theater as a child, and now everyone can see her both in Hollywood super productions and European feature films, also on the cover of famous fashion magazines. Let's welcome Coco Koenig. Austrian actress Coco Koenig was 15 when she first appeared on the stage of Vienna Children's Theater. This first success was later followed by many others. She was 17 when her international career began. She played in Berlin as well as in the Odeon Theater of Paris and later in Hamburg and Salzburg. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of talent. Um, I've come here as an actor to judge performance, so that's mostly what I'm going to be analyzing today. She was 21 when she got the leading role in Janos Edeleni's movie The Carer, which was a huge success at the Palm Springs International Film Festival. Can't wait to see all these talented children. I mean, this is really such a great opportunity, not just for them, but also for us to learn from them. So it's really, a, it's really everyone wins in the situation. So now please welcome on our stage... Coco Koenig. Thank you evening. for having me. Good evening. No, it's our pleasure. Thank um, you. As you can see, we have a lot of music specialists. We yes. have pianists. We have like uh, opera singers. Absolutely. Um, you love the classical music, of course. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Of course, I love classical music, and I think if you give talented people opportunities, they thrive. Um, so I'm really honored to be here. What and instruments do you play? I play the piano, um, but I my my personal love is acting and film and theater. So you missed my playing, unfortunately. I, I saw it from the back. It was really good. Uh, she saw it. She was <laughs> I, saw, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be here judging performances, and I, I'm looking forward to it very much. Yep. Okay, so you can take your super judge seat, you. and Thank good you luck so much. today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So let the show begin, and it's always a problem for me to begin the show with saying goodbye to Ida because I like working with her. I know I look better on her side than on my own. I would hug you, but we can't hug. Uh, but virtual hugs for you, and I cannot wait to be uh, up there backstage because I love to support all of them. And take care of them here on stage, please, okay? Absolutely. And especially today, it's more about playing than about winning. Thank you, Ida. Go backstage. And after she is left, there's only two men standing, I mean, like uh, Peter and I. You know, we started three guys in the show. Yes. I wonder, one of us should make it to the final. Yes, we will try our best. <laughs> okay, but it's, I mean, you're a lucky guy. Your girls are staying my left. I can't complain. Okay, but another one will come on. She's a beautiful, young Hungarian musician. Um, Maxim Vengarov saw her play and he was excited about her and he knows about violin playing. However, now she shows herself from a brand new side. She and her little sister will shock us and their mom with breathtaking acrobatic stunts. My sister and I love doing acrobatics. We try to find some time every day to practice this too. We have also a hammock like this that we can use for doing exercises. We love it very much. I love aerial yoga because it relaxes me and makes me happy. High five in the air. We'll go to the final. Is Amira Abuza. It was a great feeling when the judges said my name. And I'm happy that now I can show this international jury other pieces as well. On stage, Abu Zara Amira from Hungary.
wonderful. That's how I love violin. Very religious, whatever the word is. You've been the first contestant tonight. We will talk about this. Wir könnten auch in Deutsch sprechen. We could talk in German, which would make it easier for the both of us. But we are in Budapest. We have an international audience. And we'd like to introduce that beautiful orchestra. I do the Gabor Hollerung part. He is a conductor. Welcome, Maestro. And you live in Hungary, so you help me spell the name of the orchestra, right? The Dohnani. Dohnani. You, you do it. Dohnani Zenakor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. First question. Our jury today has another job also because today they can be nice. Silvana. Amira, congratulations. Uh, really, I like your tone first of all, and I enjoyed to listen to you and also uh, to watch you playing. Uh, you have wonderful dynamic ranges and just keep on this way. Peter. I really enjoyed everything what you did. I, I think generally sometimes I would like to take more time, especially after the trill, you know, -da -da -da, ya -da -da, so it's like more uh, thing. And there is also one phrase just before letter A, if you know the letters, when you go up the dynamic, a little bit more decrescendo, but it's 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 a very small things. You you play with such a joy, you have your closed eyes when when I can see you enjoying it when you play with with such a emotion, and it's really wonderful. And uh, thank you so much for a great job. Coco, you are a musical person, but uh, we are here more about the the showmanship. What do you think? Yes, I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was beautiful how you and the instrument became one. And I also thought it was great how you were extremely confident, but then that confidence was juxtaposed with, with the soft side. And, and I thought it was very, very beautiful to watch and to, to see you perform. So thank you. Erika? Uh, you have an incredible strong presence on the stage, uh, which immediately captures people. There is something else which is uh, fantastic about you. Every one of your phrases has an underling thought, and I think it's really important. Thank you very much for this wonderful performance. I'm still your biggest fan. Thanks. Thank you, Erika. Thank you, Amira. Auf Wiedersehen. Alles Gute. Ich drücke dir die Daumen fürs Finale. Bitte schön. Hugs, kisses, everything. <laughs> Before moving on to the next contestant, let's see what a wonderful country she represents. The history of Poland goes back more than a thousand years, and classical music also owes a lot to this country. Poland gave us world composers like Frédéric Chopin, Henryk Wieniawski, and Witold Lutosławski. Polish classical music often draws inspiration from Romanticism and the roots of folk music, and contestants of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus were also greatly influenced by it. Zarina Zaradna impressed the jury with her beautiful harp playing in the semifinals. The nine-year-old Polish little lady, while practicing a lot for today's masterclass, also paid attention to standing on stage today with a perfect look. Let's have a look. My mother told me that we'd go to a beauty salon before the final, where I could get my hair and my nails done. And then we'd go to a cake shop. Zarina Zaradna. When the judges said my name, I felt wonderful, as if I had achieved something great. I was very happy. I'm very happy that my dog Pepech is with me, and I hope that he'll bring me good luck in the Super Finals. I'm now convinced that he brings good luck. On stage, Zarina Zaradna from Poland.
Zarina Zaradna, that was Dobje. Very good. I loved it. So, you happy with yourself? You like your play? Yes, I'm, I'm very happy with my performance. Yes, I'm sure everybody agrees. Of course, Alicia, she is your <laughs> Polish angel. She will love you anyway. Zarina. Zarina, I still can't understand how you can play so well after just three years of learning this instrument. That's because each note you play with your little fingers is full of elegance and music. You know, as I look at you, I see an elegant young lady. You are full of gracefulness. I'm so proud of you. Good luck for the super final. Thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome, darling. Gabriela? Zarina, it's magical to look at you, really. You warm our hearts and, and you know, you're just such a natural talent. You know, we see such a bright future ahead of you, that's for sure. Silvana? Yes, she's a little angel playing harp. Uh, we were enjoying. I liked your tone, technique, and I liked your contrasts. So uh, the impression is complete. Thank you. So keep hearing that angel stuff. Tell me, are you a devil sometimes too? <laughs> yeah? I'm very <laughs> glad. The night was wonderful. I felt like I was in a fairy tale. Everything was colorful and joyful. And I was very happy too. And it means a lot to me that I could perform on the stage. Bravo! You were great. I am so proud. Our little princess. The filming of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus is a true adventure for the kids. Today, we will have a camera rehearsal and we will try on the clothes. And I also practice a lot with the orchestra. Even though there is always time for taking a break, the contestants still have to work a lot if they want to be perfect on stage. They have to keep practicing on their own and with the orchestra for the perfect sound and stage rehearsals for the perfect scene. This is a camera rehearsal where, on the other hand, we check the performance itself. And on the other, the whole crew is working on creating the most beautiful scene possible. So this is when we set the last few color shades for the background. There is a whole team dedicated to working on the appearance of the contestants and the judges. These are the clothes we brought for you. We'll pick the right one together.
Tracy. I feel like a real princess. I wore a tailcoat for the first time in my life. There were so many people there. I don't think I could count them on the fingers of both of my hands. Some of them were following us around everywhere, so they always knew where we were and what we were doing. One last hug from the parents before the performance, and then only the contestant can enter the studio through the lock gate. The next contestant, a virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus, comes from the Czech Republic. The Czech Republic has an exceptionally rich history in classical music. The most famous Czech composers include Antonín Dvořák, Bedří Smetana, and Leos Janáček. For more than 60 years, Prague has been home to the biggest classical music event in the world, the Prague Spring International Music Festival. And the love that young Czech people have for classical music has also been shown on the stage of virtuosos. Now uh, we will see Martin Schulz from uh, Czech Republic, who came here alone, actually, which is fine because he's already 18 years old. But it didn't take him long to find a really good friend here in Budapest. Actually, uh, she's also from Czech Republic, Eliška. Let's see how their friendship developed. This is cool, it's awesome, just like home. Oh yeah, it is. I love it. Look around, it has this typical atmosphere of the communist era. The pictures from bedtime stories and everything, this is so cool. That the musician who will go through to the next final round will be Martin Schutz. When they said my name, I would have been like, wow, are you kidding me? I was very happy at that moment. That's right, hug your friend. Thanks to the Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus competition, I was lucky enough to meet Eliška, who became my friend and my comfort, and I'm very happy that she can be here with me. For the next round, I'll try to be more accurate in practicing and I'll try to have some more rest because the first round was really demanding. So I'll try to relax a bit more and that way I hope I will be able to show my best to the judges. On stage, Martin Schulz from Czech Republic. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bravo! Good! Martin, hello again. Hello, hello. So is this a special accordion thing or did you hurt yourself? Uh, this, no, 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 this is for uh, better playing because uh, this uh, texture is made from celluloid, like ah. a piano, and uh, if, you, if you don't have these things, it's like a stuff. Ah, yeah, yeah. And it's you better should, for play. I see, you should have a Batman suit. <laughs> that would look good. Anybody of you guys ever touch the uh, instrument like this because for me it's like left does something else than the right hand and uh, it's complicated. Peter, but you you understand everything. Yeah, you have to have the, <laughs> the air and you know also this uh, technique of left hand and technique of right hand. So it's to combine it to make some vibratos and how soft you play, how, how, how uh, loud you play. There are a lot of kind of criteria. But you were, you were amazing. It's not easy and the style and transparency. Mm -hmm. Sounded like Tchaikovsky to me. But <laughs> <laughs> very similar, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Gabriela, talk to the man in check. I will. Martin, thank you for choosing this piece. This was really something different from last time. And of course, your technique is excellent. But you also have this incredible thing about your skills that so many people love about you. You have incredible powers, and this works really well for you on stage. The ladies on the right side. I think uh, we are very spoiled because we have two accordion players in the final. But it's very good because uh, then we can really pick up something about uh, this world, mm -hmm. your world, and you're excellent, really. And uh, your Scarlatti sonata was uh, perfect. What if I have to say something, li really little something? You, you really um, look up and, and uh, we had the, the eye contact with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I think it needs sometimes. Okay in the serious pieces too, that uh, to have this connection, special connection, mm -hmm. this uh, circulation, to have you really, but anyhow, this is just really something. Is this heavy after a certain time? Yeah, I do you want to try it? Do you like want to you try it? To... No, I don't want to it's try it. It's 15 kilos, just 15 kilos. 15 kilos, but at the end of a concert, you're like, yeah. okay, <laughs> I want to... <laughs> okay. Okay, thank Martin, you very much. take care, bye-bye. Thank, bye. thank you. This was really great. I wasn't so stressed because this wasn't about competing. The judges gave me lots of useful advices about how I should act on stage, how I should take eye contact with the audience, how I should play better. And I think I'll take their advice. That was extraordinary. You know, we had a party for you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, cheers. Wow. Cheers. cheers to Martin. I can see that you uh, created a true friendship. So, I think we, we like talking about everything. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. About music mostly or? Oh, maybe mostly. Maybe mostly, but it's uh, something what connects us, what, uh, why we met each other. Yeah. <laughs> and I am, I am really happy that he's here and he, that he's in the final and <laughs> I am have, have my fingers crossed for him. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, me but too. I'm, but I'm really sad that Eliška couldn't come to the final. However, I am here with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true, yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. true. The next young talent represents Slovakia. Slovakia is not only famous for its beautiful natural landscapes, but also for its cultural values. The historical importance of Bratislava, the capital, is indisputable when it comes to classical music. This is where Elgan Suchon and Ilya Zelyanka studied, and this is where Ernu Dohnanyi was born. The orchestra that accompanies contestants of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus was named after him. It is called Budofoki Dohnanyi Orchestra. We keep telling you again and again that this is about the same language, but it's still about a competition. It's both about music, but you know, if it's a competition, especially girls take these things very serious and they know how to win, but this is a friendship between two girls and one of them was eliminated. So we want to show you how those two Slovakian girls spent their time together after it turned out that only Algebeta had made it to the final. The two friends, like sisters, but we still had to decide. Ashbieta Rehakova.
We love taking walks to this square and to this beautiful basilica. We even attended a mass here. It was in Hungarian. This was the first Hungarian mass of my life. Although I didn't make it into the final in this competition, I still decided to stay with Betka so I can support her and I can hum melodies into her ear all the time and to tell her to smile and relax and not to stress. I'm very happy that she could stay here with me. To me, she's clearly the winner. Thank you. I think that this show isn't so much about competing. It's about how music connects people. I found very good friends here. I know that there will be a true legend in the super final. A real idol of mine, Placido Domingo. I try to do everything to show my best. On stage, Ashbeta Rihakova from Slovakia. Better. Was it for me in German? Deine Lippen, die küssen so heiß? I don't know, not at all. Ah, Erika, have you ever done this song? Uh, yes. Have you any tips for her? First of all, Betka. I amazed your performance. Uh, it was really wonderful, really, really. It was a very good choice. Very little advice, more text, more text. Yeah, yeah. Not, not doppel P, triple. Triple. Lippen. Lippen. Alicia, you agree, our other opera diva? I think, Elisabetta, that everything is there. Fantastic voice, legato, and your musicality amazes me. That is very solid for the future. But this piece was sung by the biggest opera singers. So as... Uh, as was said, that text has to be given because it's operetta. Mm -hmm. You have to pay attention on umlaut because it's not kiss English, it's kuss. It's German kuss. We will work on this. Yeah. So, Peter, 
Tell her in her language or in your common language. Ausbeta, Betka, congratulations to you. You sang this piece beautifully. I think I agree with my colleagues. Text is the most important thing. This is what you'll have to work on a little more. Otherwise, you sang beautifully. Thank you for the comments. I try to improve these things. <laughs> I think uh, you're ready for the final. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. That's good. I accept the feedback and I want to be very conscious about it. I'll be working on this piece. I will work on my energy so that I can be more relaxed while singing it and I can enjoy it even more. Magnificent performance. Thank you very much. How did you feel up there on stage? I am so happy now that it's over. I'm not stressing anymore. And I appreciate all the advice I got from the judges. I try to work on these things because I know how important these things are, exactly what my teacher keeps telling me. In the first semi-final, the Hungarian jury member Mikloja Erika sang for the Serbian contestant Vuk Vukalovic. She sang the song of a famous Hungarian tale figure with the same name as him. So Vuk decided to go after and see himself who the Kish Vuk is. Here we watch him. Your name is the same as a Hungarian fairy tale person, animal. Vuk. Hip hop, Jön Vuk. My name is Vuk, and the cartoon character shares the same name. And this is important for the children. That's what Erika, the Hungarian judge, mentioned. Since I did very well in the semi-final, people will probably expect me to be even better in the final. So I'll take every opportunity to practice. I used to do basketball seriously, and I began playing the guitar only later. But now I'm taking the guitar more seriously. And when I go to play basketball with my friends, I always have some sandpaper or nail file in my backpack. Because if my nails break, I can't play and my sound is gone. So I have to properly maintain them. On stage, Vuk Vukailovic from Serbia.
Yes. Again, this was beautiful. You nailed. Yeah, I, I, I see they are very carefully. You do this yourself. Uh, I had to do this myself in this competition. I had no other choice. But normally my teacher usually helps me with it. Yeah, so I think Silvana will be proud of you. Vuk, I'm really proud of you and your performance. And compared to the first recording you sent to Virtuosos, I think you have come a long way. You are much more relaxed. The way you play is effortless and precise. Your tone is clear. You are technically excellent. Your music is beautiful and effective. So we are proud of you and your performance. Thank you very much. Erika? I love your style, I, I love your, your dynamics, uh, you have uh, very strong expressions. Do you like metallic? Metal, Metal yes. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> because your hair is very good for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like the style. Like juju style. And... Oh, can you show something? Of course. Uh, of course. Yeah. The stage is yours. All right. It's that's <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Are okay? Yes, they are. Yeah. You knew, you knew there would be some challenge, huh? Uh, Alicia. You're very self-conscious about your image. As you said, the hair is part of your image. But I would love to that sometimes you put up your head and you tease us with your eyes, with your face, just for the moment, but give us this pleasure. All right? Please. Thank you. Of, of course. <laughs> Thank you. You're an artist. You can say no. You can say. You can watch at me whenever you want. If I'm playing, I'm playing. But it's up to you. I'm, I'm only the guy introducing you. So we will see you again in the finale. <laughs> Looking forward to you. Thank you. The judges made comments about my hairstyle. They told me they'd like to see my whole face. And that's fine. I'll do something about it in the super final. I wanted to say that uh, our rock star is here, but it's a metal star now. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I think, you know, I was listening to everything that the judges were saying, but to be honest, I love your hair, though. Because um, <laughs> it gives like a certain secret to your music. I'm glad that you have such a nice uh, atmosphere here. I can see that you're all really supporting each other. Of course, we don't look at each other as rivals. We make friends, we talk, we share experiences and give advice to each other. This is an extraordinary competition and an extraordinary experience. Regardless of the different countries and nations, here on the stage of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus, we play the same language. This show is all about music, which connects the children. Children can approach music in a naive way. They look at it as something new. And this is also reflected in the way they play. And indeed, we got to know each other better. And as the super final is approaching, now we were able to play together. We sat down in a break and played Hungarian Dance by Johannes Brahms, a piece we all know. And it was truly great to see that we indeed share this common language, the language of music. It was really fun.
Many of the young musicians who perform here have never played with an orchestra before and never been in a similar environment with an orchestra. This is something new to them. I can help them with this, and the conductor Holarum Gabor can also help. One, two, three! Beside all this, Virtuosos is much more than a talent show. We support these talents even after the show. We follow their appearances and provide them with opportunities to perform. This is the end of the first part of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus Masterclass. Five of the ten contestants have already been introduced. One contestant from each of the Visegrad countries, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Poland and Hungary, and another contestant from Serbia, are coming up to showcase their exceptional talents. It's no question they are the future of classical music. And we and the jury are on the way to prepare them for the big super final where they will be able to show their skills in front of Maestro Placido Domingo. Tonight is all about playing joyful music as here we all play the same language. And we'll be back soon, don't worry. See you in a sec. That sounded like the soundtrack from Jurassic Park or Star Wars or something like this. You're not just cute, you are a real, already a real musician. I'm a very big fan of you, really. Biggest fan of you. You are a great, great, great musician. You have the best stage present that I've ever seen. It's truly unique. Take your head and slide, slide, slide. Good evening again. Here we go with our master class of the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus, which actually is more of a classic musical party, just for fun. Tonight is about playing joyful music, not about competing with each other. Also, we are preparing the contestants for the grand finale, where the super judge will be Maestro Placido Domingo. We have already seen one talented young contestant from each of the five countries, and now we will meet another five young musicians. As in the first part, we will continue to have our five fantastic judges coupled with a super judge, Coco König, tonight to give their advice in the performances of the children. So, let's continue our show. Ready, Thomas? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus, the future of classical music. My husband and I are musicians, and Edward has a younger brother. I'm very happy that they can enjoy playing music together, even if they play different instruments. My parents met because of music. It connects us all despite different cultures and religions. As the contestant for the finals is... Edward Kolak. This time I picked the third movement of Kongo's Violin Concerto. He is one of my favorite composers. He is a genius. He was also a film composer. He wrote many film scores and it matches the style of a show like this. On stage, Eduard Kolert from Czech Republic.
Edward. That sounded like the soundtrack from Jurassic Park or Star Wars or something like yeah. this. Great music, grand music. And you look like you work in a boys group. <laughs> Did you ever think about becoming a popular guy instead of a classical star? Not really. I always wanted to be a classical musician, soloist and conductor. But like lately I thought about maybe also adding acting into it. Mm -hmm. But as a musician I want to be basically the classical okay, musician so with you some little music. You know you you like the road you are walking on. Yes. Which is very good and you do perfect as far as I understand. So let's see, uh, talking about uh, kind of stage performance, Coco, are you with me? This guy is built for the stage. You're so built for the stage. Were you nervous? No. You were, I could tell that you were not nervous because you had these little breaks, these little moments where you weren't playing and it's almost as if you were just taking a small little break and then you went back onto your violin. So it was really impressive to see how you just went along with, with the entire, with, with the entire um, track that way. And um, you have this certain coolness about you. I, I really like you. Peter? I think uh, you have brilliant technique and you have uh, a very good tone as well. I would probably go more extreme to the dynamics even more to make a subito piano, subito forte, like more, more ecstatic, you know, all, all these changes and everything. But I mean, it's really, you are very concentrated, you are very, very, very into the piece. So congratulations, you have a very big talent. Thank you. Thank you. Before Gabriela is going to talk to you in Czech, we have to talk about your languages. This is very interesting. Your mom and you, you speak in Japanese, yes. right? Your mom talks to your dad in French. Yes. And if you talk to your dad, you talk in Czech. Yes. Crazy. The neighbors <laughs> gave up. The neighbors gave up listening, right? Yeah, and but with my father because I now I try to learn also Russian, so I mix up with the Russians. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have a Russian grandmother or a... No, no, no thank just... God. So, Gabriela, let's listen to his Czech, whether he's as good as in Czech as he is in violin playing. Yes. He is a genius. Edward, thank you. I'm really proud of you. First of all, this piece has been an incredibly good choice. Korngold was one of the fathers of film music, and his music matches the style of this show perfectly. It was very impressive, excellent. Your technique is excellent, and your dynamics are incredible. Sometimes you were slightly ahead of the orchestra, but this is not a big thing. Today we saw your smile for a short while and I really liked it, so congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I'm watching you and I will looking forward to see you in the final. It was great to play Congo's violin concerto on the stage tonight. This is my favorite violin concerto and the orchestra was also great. Coming up, a young contestant representing Serbia. Serbia never fails to impress people. The country's natural landscape, magnificent architecture, and wonderful gastronomy is truly unique. Furthermore, Serbia has given many great classical musicians to the world, including Stefan Mokranjac, Ljubica Maric, Stefan Hristic, and Milan Ristic. The great predecessors still inspire even the youngest people, and they do everything to bring glory to their countries on the stage of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus. And now here in our backstage, we have our wonderful Christina, this time not with her saxophone, but still with her best friend. Hello. Hello. I'm happy you're here. I heard you went around Budapest and you saw a lot of beautiful things, but from a very certain point of view. Is that true? No. Yes. I heard you were on this thing when you go in circles up and down. Yes. Okay. As you can see, Christina is a very secretive girl. So while she's making her way to the stage, we're going to see her adventures. Good luck. Why my mom and I was walking, we saw the big well, which offers a view of the whole city. So we took a ride on it. We looked around. It was so beautiful because this way we could see the entire city. I really liked it because Budapest is beautiful. The decision was really tough. 
At first, Lena and I held each other's hands, and we were waiting for the name of the winner, Lena or I. Kristina Vasic. I don't know why they decided to pick me, but I was very happy. It felt wonderful, and in that moment, I almost cried. I love this piece, but it's more difficult than Caravan. I'm working hard to make it sound as good as I can. It takes a lot of time to perfect it. Watch out, there won't be a problem. Focus. Give a hundred percent. The maximum. The maximum. No, I make it thousand. Okay. Or a hundred thousand. On stage. Kristina Vasic from Serbia. Christina, my charm doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe I don't have charm. So we have the lady who speaks in your own language, Serbian, uh, Silvana. Christina, you were fantastic, just like in the open casting in Belgrade. There are a lot of tricky rhythms in this piece, so it must have been difficult playing it with the orchestra. But you did it very well. You look very serious. Don't be afraid to be a bit more relaxed, because you are full of positive energy. You have a beautiful appearance, and you look professional when you are playing. Congratulations. Thank you. You were starting to say something. Go on, give us some words, please. 
Well, I don't know. Can I touch it? See, this is this is where the ear is missing. <laughs> Maybe you compose a piece for saxophone, the missing ear. Erica, help me. Kiki, Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> you were oh. fantastic. 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 You are not just cute. You are, you're just, Thank you. You're not just cute. You are a real, already a real musician. It's, it's really fantastic. And I'm sure you will be a big star. Really. So, volim te, volim te. Thank you. Thank you. Alicia, you talk to her. I have to tell you. Realization of everything was there. Swing was there. I even saw myopic mice. You know, so <laughs> thank you very much, really. <laughs> I admire you. You are you are great, great, great musician. Do we want to leave? We, sh we should do one more thing like this, okay? Much. Okay. Much. Much. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Well, yeah, then, yes, please, thank you. Another one, another one, another one. Yes. Okay. And now, now we walk. You take one, I take the other one. Then we bring our dog home. Okay? And we start with left. <laughs> I'm glad we became friends with Thomas, and I'm happy he likes Fitya. And that we all walked off the stage together. And here's Christina with her beautiful best friend. I'm so proud of you. I am proud of you. Can I see your friend? Because I have to tell you that at some point, last time, when you were here, I talked to your friend. Do you talk to him sometimes? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, see. So, um, I just want to tell you because, oh. Okay, okay, okay. So he just told me that next time uh, that you see Thomas, um, you have to tell him that you want to be his really good friend. All right. Okay. He said he's so happy. This is a huge show, as you could see. What we have to bring together, the artists, the orchestra, the jurors, and you would not even guess what a huge apparatus is needed to achieve all of this, what work it takes to make this fantastic show with the participation of five languages, five countries. Come with us for a little behind the scenes action now to show you how the Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Pro Plus production is put together. It's a very interesting place. Three, two, one, rolling. The creation of this show, which is truly unique in the entire world, took one and a half years of preparation. It required the work of more than 500 people and hundreds of hours of raw material was filmed. This production has several special and unique aspects. The young talents of the five countries, as well as the judges, could speak their own language in Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus. I really cheer to start your career. Thank you. Beside music, English is the common language of the show. Professional simultaneous interpreters provide a lot of help with this. They listen to the participants' speech in these booths, and they immediately interpret them into the target language. First, everything is interpreted into Hungarian, and then the other booths interpret the Hungarian voice into Czech, Serbian, Polish, and so on. The double lead wall system and the reflective surfaces create a magical atmosphere for the wonderful music. The design of the scene serves the purpose of making classical music enjoyable in a way that resonates with the style and the form of expression of the modern people. And these classical performances accompanied by an orchestra of 60 members require special recording technology. Because of the COVID situation, there is no audience in the studio. Only family members were allowed to come with the contestants. 
With the exception of the stage, everybody has to wear a mask, and the members are constantly being tested. Their temperature is taken regularly, and there is also a special disinfecting gate. For the protection of the contestants and judges, they can only use the designated isolated routes, and only a very limited number of staff are allowed to contact them. The contestants are supported by the synchronized work of several hundred people, so that they can show off their best on stage, and so that the viewers can enjoy Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus in their own language. Not only his virtuoso playing, but also a special movement was highlighted by the jury. David Siewiecki came from Poland and told us that music moves him out of reality. We also wanted to move him out of reality to another location besides the hotel. So we took him to a real accordion repair master where he admired old instruments with his mouth wide open. Now you can watch him doing this with your mouth wide open. I don't know, he made me emotionally way because he looked a little, you know, to me it's sad. But this guy was just, you know, full of joy and, and you know, he's dreaming to have his own instrument. I just... The contestant from Poland going through is... David Siewiecki. When they said my name, I realized that I had a step closer to realizing my dream. To have my own accordion. I'm very happy that I could visit this accordion repair shop. It was great seeing so many accordions in one place. It was truly extraordinary. I'm very happy that I could learn so many things from the instrument repairer. This workshop opened in 1992. That's when I started repairing accordions. You can find anything here if it has something to do with the accordion. I hope David's dream will come true and he'll be able to buy his own accordion. Of course, I've been interested in music since my childhood, especially accordions. I've been playing this instrument for six years now. It feels good to see these years again. On stage, David Siewiecki from Poland. Thank <laughs> you. 
David, I'm shocked. I just read this is not your own accordion. Your biggest wish is your an own accordion. Is this true? Thanks. Yes, this is true. My biggest dream is to have my own accordion. This instrument was borrowed from the school. Schwinta Maria Matka Boska. This is like this is a Polish future star. Alicia, am I right? Absolutely. I'm convinced that to have your own absolutely instrument is a, is a duty of our country. So I will do everything to, to help you with that. I want to encourage you really. You, you, you play with such a transparency. You're all the notes. So everything is so clear. It's, it's almost impossible to see that, you know. So it's, it's, you are almost a genius, like to play how to play the chromatic scales and, you know, all this, this, this music and also how you did the register and the colors there. It was really fantastic. I'm a very big fan of you, really. Biggest fan of you. Thank you. See? Thank you. Thank you. So, Coco? Yeah, I thought it was a fantastic performance. How do you, Alicia, how do you say speechless in, in Polish? Zaniemówiłam. Zaniemówiłam. You left me Zaniemówiłam. <laughs> Gabriela? David, last time you made me cry so much, and I understand why. Uh, there is something within you which is so strong, your personality, and uh, you have the best stage present that I've ever seen. Really, it's so enjoyable watching you. You 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 move, you dance with that with the instruments. I, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think all performances here are equally precious, and I really did my best. I did everything I could, because to me, it's a great honor to be here. Your talent is almost unworthy, even though you, of course, live in this world. So I am really proud of you. Congratulations to you and your father. He is very proud of you. You can't help but be happy about it. Good luck for the super final, and I'm sure soon you'll have an accordion of your own. Thank you very much. Thank you. The recorder playing of the Slovakian Oina Maros in the semi-finals was impressive. It also turned out that the 13-year-old girl is passionate about the Baroque age and style. She visited one of the largest and most beautiful Baroque castles, the former home of Queen Zissi in Gödöl. When I heard my name, I didn't even understand what was going on. Am I in the next round? Am I eliminated? What am I supposed to do? The musician who will go through to the next round will be... Aina Maros. I never even dared to dream about this. I never thought it would happen. Deep in my heart, I hope that I will win this contest. Uh, this beautiful castle is in Godel. It's called the Grashakovich Castle. And I always return to this place because I go to summer camps here. And I love being here. When I tell someone I play the recorder, everybody thinks of a plastic toy that people may use to play simple melodies. But the recorder has a beautiful sound, especially if you play it well and if it's made of wood. I think Aina is a unique character. She must have received her musicality and talent from above. I'm sure she didn't get it from me. Aina, we'll keep our fingers crossed for you. On stage, Aina Maros from Slovakia. Thank you. 
Oina. I want to know. They are famous violinists. They are famous like pianists. Like I, I think there may be a young guy who who would say I'd like to play piano like Lang Lang. Is there a famous recorder artist you're looking up to? Is there someone you want to impress with your playing? No. In fact, there aren't too many well-known recorder players. But there are some, such as the Dutch Lucy Horsch. I really like her. So this is why you develop your own style. You just love this instrument and what you do with it is incredible. Uh, I always like it if you can talk in your own language. With... He speaks your language, Peter. Aina, you were fantastic. You really played very well. It was absolutely beautiful. I think you have a special talent when it comes to playing together with an orchestra. I hope you'll be the first widely known recorder player, or maybe the most famous in the world. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. We are working, you know, the entertainment business, you know, acting, you learn your lines, you try to be the character, but this is incredible. Incredible. And she is, she is rehearsing like, maybe 10 times more than, than you do or I do. This is so much work. Incredible. incredible. And you made it seem so easy and, and it seemed like such a beautiful, like light performance. It was really aesthetically so pleasing to watch. I had goosebumps the entire time. Congratulations, honestly, it's great. Alicia? I know. Your collaboration with orchestra, your grace, your sound, your passages, there is all, there is absolutely all. And you said that you wanted to show that the recorder is perfectly capable of playing more complicated pieces, and you proved it. Thank you. Thank you. Wave them goodbye, you will see them again. Well, Mr. I was really happy when Peter Valentovich told me that I could become the most famous recorder player in the world. We'll see. Bravissimo! I know, it was so beautiful. It was magical. It was like we were in a different place. It was amazing. Are you happy? Yes, I am. No, Basically, this performance today was a great practice for the super final, where I will play a really difficult piece in front of Placido Domingo. I can't even imagine it yet, and I'm really nervous about it. Ah, mam dosť veľký stres to. Our next contestant is from Hungary, the home of impressive natural landscapes, unparalleled architectural wonders, waters, and world-famous composers. Béla Bartók, Zoltán Kodály, and Franz Liszt. Their works are frequently played in the most famous concert halls of the world, as well as in Budapest. And since 2014, classical music has been playing in the studio of Virtuosos, the home of this unique talent show that has now moved to the international scene. Ildiko Rozhonic, one of our young Hungarian musicians, dazzled our super judge Gabriel Prokofiev and the whole jury, not only with her competition piece, but also with her improvisation. Ildiko, who also paints pictures with her piano playing, is a fan of sci-fi and she will talk about it now. <laughs> Besides preparing for the competition, it's very important for me to get away from things from time to time and to spend time in my own world, which is why I came to this place, to get inspiration. I love science fiction and fantasy stories and theories, and I have my own ideas about the future too. As a matter of fact, I have my ideas about the present as well, and about the origin of the world. I love writing such stories. I create my own characters, I also draw them and publish them in places where I can get feedback, and I really hope that one day my books will reach a wider audience, and they will become famous. ...position that will go through to the next round. Ildiko Rojani.
asking for Juri Kimonta neve. When the judges said my name, I was a bit surprised, but I was very happy because at least I had the chance to show off my abilities. I play two pieces that are very different from the previous ones, and I love them very much. So I think I have a lot of fun. I'm getting more and more comfortable, and I think it has a good effect on the way I play. I'm much braver on stage and off stage too, and I'm not so nervous anymore. On stage, Ildiko Rozsonic from Hungary. Hello, hello. If I look at this piece at the sheet music Franz Liszt wrote, I think that guy was crazy. Doesn't it terrify you if you see a piece like this the first time on paper? Of course, the first time is terrifying, but uh, once you dive deeper into it, it's uh, and you learn it, it's uh, okay. And when it's learned, uh, actually, you can pay attention more to the performance itself, not the technical difficulties. Thank you for that advice. The next time I play it, I will think differently about it. Erika, what did you think? 
I heard this piece played by many fantastic performers, especially Hungarian ones, but you had your own concept about it, which was so different, and I was so happy that you were brave enough to go with it, the way you felt it and the way you imagined it. The kind of diverse personality you have is reflected in the way you play, and, and it's truly unique. I'm totally impressed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I have to thank you too. Silvana, if you would be her piano teacher, what would you tell her now? I will tell her that uh, she, she was uh, brilliant. I will only suggest for these uh, uh, dramatic parts to have uh, this forte more intense and the piano maybe deeper in the piano, but those are only uh, small things to think about. You're in an excellent way. Thank you. For a professional musician. Coco? I mean, I can just agree. I, I'm so impressed by you. I was watching your hands the entire time. I mean, it's incredible. I know we're not allowed to pick favorites, but I really, really like you. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for letting us listen to, to your beautiful craft. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Ildiko. It was a big pleasure. <laughs> Saying bye-bye. As for the comments regarding the strength of my forte's, I'll take this advice, and in the next round I play stronger and I'll be much more impressive. I keep in mind that what I'm hearing as I'm sitting at the piano may not be quite as loud as what the judges are hearing in front of the stage. This was absolutely uh, amazing. I, I actually wanted to ask you, not really about music, but about uh, sci-fi films. Uh, you're like, yes. <laughs> yeah, tell me, when did that start, that passion? Well, I have been watching science fiction films since I was a child, obviously. Um, I mean, well, since when I was very small. Mm -hmm. And I was obsessed uh, with Star Wars. And, uh, have you seen all Star Wars? Yeah, really? uh, the new ones as well. And I've been creating own Star Wars films and characters. And well, uh, may the force be with you in the super final. You were fantastic and just keep on thriving on stage because you really belong there, really. And now, here comes one of the world's best known and most successful pianist. He was the first Far Eastern artist to be at the forefront of classical music in Europe and the United States, thanks to his sensitivity, technical knowledge and expressive power. His name means brilliance of the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, on the Visegrad 4 Plus stage of the Virtuosos, the world famous Lang Lang. Lang Lang is one of the most influential pianists of all times, who is a regular performer at the biggest concert halls on every continent. He started playing the piano at the age of three after watching a cartoon that featured a piece by Franz Liszt. I watched Tom and Jerry cartoon. They were playing the Liszt Hungarian Rhapsody No. 2. In China, some 40 million children began playing the piano because of him. He was appointed by UNICEF as an international goodwill ambassador, as well as a United Nations messenger of peace. I think it's tremendously important for, for kids to, to learn music because this helps them to build discipline, to build creativities, imaginations, and just a skill to communicate with people. Is a devoted promoter of talent scouting, so he happily agreed to be a judge in an earlier International Virtuoso show, as well as to perform this year as a guest star here in Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus.
thank you all so much for all of these wonderful virtuoso performances. We have reached the end of the Visegrad 4 Plus Masterclass episode of the Virtuosos. And here they are on stage, all the contestants for the grand finale. You're all so wonderful. Now I would like to ask our super judge, Coco Kunig, to tell us how did you feel today after seeing all of these wonderful young talents? Well, you're all so very impressive and I came here as a judge today, but ironically I find it very hard to judge anything about your performances because they were really, really excellent. I'm just very humbled, I'm greatly humbled to have had the opportunity to listen to you all and to watch you all. Um, to me, you're all winners and I wish you all the best. Bravo. And of course the idea of this competition was that every artist, every young artist would have some judge who not only understands his performance but also his language. So please, I'm asking all the judges to address the participants in their language. Please, Silvana, you start. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Christina. Thank you, Christina. Bravo. I loved your performance, your confidence and your concentration. This is really important. Keep on practicing in the next few days, because the super final is coming up soon. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you. Vuk, the same goes for you. We are proud of you and your performance. The super final is approaching. Do your absolute best. You have everything you need. Go for it. We are with you. Betka, Aina, congratulations, you have shown the best of you. You are both incredibly talented. You just keep on getting better and better. I can tell you already improved a lot, because today is the second time I see you. I am very proud that we have such fantastic artists in our country, and I wish you all the best. As for the super final, just do your absolute best. Thank you very much. Thank you for the beautiful performances. You are both very good in your own areas. You both have brilliant technique. You have a lot of musicality. And all I can say is pick a good piece for the final, because we know you are great. But a lot of things depend on the choice of piece. So do it with all of your hearts and enjoy it. Thank you for tonight. It was perfect. So, Erika, you talk to your candidates in Hungarian, please. Amira, I amazed at the fact that you have grown from a small girl into a major artist in such a short time. And Ildiko, I love your diversity and your intriguing and complex personality. You are both fantastic. Have some fun and then start preparing for the super final. I'm sure you'll be great. Congratulations. Thank you for the emotions that you gave us. Thank you for the great performances. David, you are just breathtaking on stage. You bring about such deep and strong emotions that it moves me to tears. And you, Zarinka, after just three years, I wonder where you'll be in five times three years. Fifteen years from now. I'd like to be by your side in your careers. I'd like to help you and support you to be your mentor. I'm really looking forward to the super final. Thank you. Thank you. I also prepped something, so this is a master class episode. I'm not going to teach you how to play anything, for sure. And I'm not going to teach you how to dance, but I want to have some fun dancing with you. Is that okay? Yeah? Huh. And this is just like to relax. There's nothing else. You make me feel else. like dancing. <laughs> dancing. And Thomas, you too, of course. Uh, I'm, no? I'm, I'm, I've done no, my no, dancing. No, 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 no. Thomas too, right? Yeah, Thomas too. Okay, come here. Christina, the cool guys, everybody, just have, come closer. Martin, Edward, yes, yes. Okay, so we go like this. Snake, clap. Snake, judges too. <laughs> Slide, good. Slide, very nice. Step, step, head, head, cross your legs, turn, and pose. 
Thomas, how are you doing? I was a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for an amazing episode and can't wait to see you all next week. Yes, this was the Virtuosos Visualgrad 4 Plus Masterclass. The young musicians with help of our jury, thank you very, very much. More information about the show and about the contestants and the jury is on our website and on Facebook as you can see below. Thank you and have a good night. Talents Beyond Borders. Perform among the classical musicians of the future on the stage of Virtuoso's Visegrad 4 Plus. Showcase your classical musical gift to world famous stars. And that your talent can make the world a better place. You are going to go around the world. Muchas gracias, maestro. Every child deserves a chance to prove they are special. This is your chance, provided by Virtuosos. Find further details and apply at www.virtuosos.com. If you are an instrumental musician aged 18 or below, or a singer aged 20 or below. Am I talented? Virtuosos Visegrad 4 Plus. We play the same language. The next season is coming soon.